Hello, fellow developers and AI enthusiasts. Today, I'm excited to share something truly groundbreaking. Anthropic's brand new coding model, Cloud Sonic 4.0, just dropped, and it's already making waves, no pun intended, as the most advanced coding model out there, even surpassing Cloud Sonic 3.7. And here's the best part you can now use Cloud Sonic 4.0 right inside Windsurf. If you're watching this, you probably already know what Windsurf is one of the top AI-powered code editors and a serious contender to Cursor. So let's skip the intro and dive straight into unlocking this powerful new model in your workflow. Now, even if you downloaded the latest version of Windsurf with 1.9.2 and you look for Cloud Sonic 4.0 from the model menu, you might have noticed that it's not there by default. The setup isn't exactly obvious, but don't worry, in just a couple of minutes, I'll walk you through every step to get it running. The first step is to download Windsurf 1.9.2 if you haven't already. Let's go over to the Windsurf website, click on the download button. I'm running a Mac, so I'm gonna download the Apple Silicon version. You're going to open the installer I'm just going to drag it into applications. If you're on Windows, the setup process will be similar. I already installed Windsurf, so I'm just going to close this step. Next, you will need to get an Anthropic API key. To get an Anthropic key, the first thing you want to do is authenticate to console.anthropic.com. I already logged in before, so it uh, took me directly to my dashboard. Next thing I'm going to do is go to the API keys section and create a new key. It's going to ask you to enter the name of your key. I'm just going to select the default workspace. And for this one, I'm going to say WinSurf2. And you want to copy this key and save it in a text file. We'll come back to it later. And now you want to enter this key inside of Windsurf. When you go to the Windsurf change lock page, there's a section that tells you you can bring your own key and it provides a link to provide your API key through Windsurf. You click on this link, it takes you to the model provider API key section, and here you you had copied just now and clicked update. And now, um, once you enter this key, open Windsurf. If you click on the models, you still don't see the Sonnet 4 model here, but what you want to do is click on the recommended dropdown and select provider. And now under Anthropic, you need to click on show all. Here you can see the Cloud 4 models and we're going to select Cloud4 Sonnet Thinking. And that's it. And now you're ready to harness the power of Cloud Sonnet 4 inside of Windsurf. You'll notice smarter code suggestions, deeper context awareness, and an overall boost to your productivity. I'll be making a follow-up video to this in a few days to share my actual experience using Cloud Sonnet 4. Now let's quickly recap. First, we downloaded Windsurf 1.9.2 from the Windsurf website. Next, we obtained the Anthropic API key from the Anthropic developer portal. Next, we pasted the API key into Windsurf settings. And finally, we selected Cloud 4 Sonnet from the model menu. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please like and subscribe for more AI coding tips. Drop any questions in the comments and let me know what you think of Cloud Sonnet 4 and what you end up building with it. Thanks for watching and happy coding.